Could the new 4K T2 Steelbook actually be a new transfer? Drive, starring Ryan Gosling, is getting a 4K German release, but will it be released in the US? And will Scream Factory ever just get their shit together and get all of us our Halloween 4Ks? All this and more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken here today to deliver to you the Physical Media Report episode 78, guys. That is right, we are on episode 78 of your weekly dose of physical media goodness. We cover everything new in the world of Blu-ray and 4K and just everything physical media. We're going to do rumors, we're going to do announcements, we're going to cover the deals. There's tons of deals this week, guys. Kino Lorber, Blue Run Underground, all kinds of stuff. And then we're going to cover everything new coming out this week. This is a huge release week, guys. We are continuing the month of October with a very strong current of new physical media titles and some exciting stuff to talk about, guys. But before we get into it, I want to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more great content. I do all kinds of physical media stuff on this channel, collection updates, so definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And also, be sure to like this video, guys. Every single like will help this video out and help this channel grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. And also, be sure to comment down below what are you the most excited about this week and the coming months of everything that we talk about here today? Have you gotten your Halloween 4Ks yet? Leave me a comment in that comment section below. And then also be sure to turn on all those bell notifications for future videos. So let's get into things, guys. And I'm not going to make you wait. If you clicked on this video because you saw the, the T2 transfer, the flashy clickbait on the thumbnail, I'm not going to make you wait. We're going to get into this whole T2 situation because this is a very, very interesting situation filled with tons of twists and turns that has had the physical media world in an uproar for the past month since it was announced back in June. Um, and that is rumors that the new T2 Steelbook is actually going to be a new T2 transfer. And this is coming from Collider.com. Now, this dropped about four or five days ago. I got a tip from this from somebody that sent it to me on Instagram. I apologize if I do not remember uh, the name of the person that sent it to me, but somebody sent this to me on Instagram, this story from Collider. So I'm going to read this real quick verbatim, how it's written in the article, and I want you all to decide how it sounds to you um, based on this article that we're going to read. So it says this brand new Blu-ray Steelbook will be exclusive to Best Buy and will include new restoration of the 1991 classic in 4K Ultra HD, a process overseen by Cameron himself, which should appease those who were critical of the previous transfer. See, that wording right there tips me off that this should be a new transfer because it says it should appease those who were critical of the previous transfer. So it's acknowledging that the old T2 4K transfer was a shit transfer and not a good one. And it's saying that this one is supposed to be different. So right there, based on the wording by Collider, this is supposed to be a new 4K transfer. So there's also going to be a brand new 55 minute documentary on here supposedly with Arnold Schwarzenegger, James Cameron, Edward Furlong, and more. So apparently they're bringing them all together for a new 55 minute documentary, or maybe it's a documentary that they did a long time ago that they never released. Either way, it's supposed to be a new documentary for this release. So even if you're not getting the new transfer, you're at least getting a new hour long um, documentary, which I, I still don't know if that would be worth it to, to people to want to pick up without the transfer. So Collider.com is not the only people that are promoting it. You've got various other websites that are promoting this as a new transfer overseen by James Cameron, which the first one was overseen by James Cameron. So let's go to Blu-ray.com and see what they have to say. So they just announced T2, the Judgment Day 4K Steelbook, four days ago on Blu-ray.com. So it is official. It's coming out on... Um, on November the 23rd. So what they say right here in the special features and technical specs, they say that this is a previously restored in 4K under the supervision of James Cameron. So they are saying that it is a previously restored. So that, that is implying that this is the 4K release that came out a number of years ago. It is the previous 4K release. So at this point, guys, I don't know who to believe. You know, I tend to lean towards Blu-ray.com that they have the official information because the Collider article feels like they don't know what they're talking about. It feels like everybody else that released their little website news flashes were just kind of taking a cue from Collider and saying the exact same thing. 
Um, because yeah, they're saying that this is a process overseen by Cameron himself, which they're implying that this is the first time Cameron oversaw this process, which is not true. Uh, and I think that maybe they just saw that James Cameron was involved in this 4K transfer and they just thought that he wasn't in the old one. And then they thought that this was a new transfer based on James Cameron's involvement. So at this point, I tend to believe Blu-ray.com and I am thinking that this is not going to be a new transfer but you are going to be getting the brand new 55 minute uh, Terminator 2 documentary. So I, again, I don't know. I, I am just sitting here telling you all what I'm seeing, what has been reported on various other websites. It is conflicting information. It is confusing information. And I just don't know at this point. So if you all have any insights, anything that you would like to chime in about this story, definitely comment down below and let's have a discussion about it but we're gonna move on guys because this topic you know tends to upset me as well as as another one is going to here in a little bit as well so let's get into the announcements guys not too much came out this week we didn't really have any official like rumors or anything that came out but i did want to talk about the venom 2 4k steelbook that was announced uh, this past week. So we talked about Venom coming to 4K last week. Now the Steelbook has been announced by Geek Gab News coming out from Sony on December the 14th of 2021. So that Steelbook, it looks pretty good. Again, this is not an official announcement um, on Blu-ray.com, but it has been heavily indicated and rumored that this will be the design of the Steelbook. So it looks okay. To be honest, I saw Venom 2 last Wednesday. I, I wasn't too impressed with the film, so I don't think I'll be picking up the 4K or this steelbook. But if you got that first Venom 4K steelbook, which was an awesome steelbook, I imagine you're going to be wanting to get this as well. So this is supposedly coming out on December the 14th, which last week were promoted that is going to be coming out at the end of November. So that release date also moved up, uh, no doubt, as a result of the box office and its success. They want a longer theatrical run uh, for that release. So yeah, and I think this is around the same time that the first Venom actually came out. So it would make sense for them to push it to this release date. So let's get into the next story, guys, and that is Drive on 4K. This is being announced to come out as a German release on December the 10th of 2021. So this is only being announced for Germany right now. There is no US release date. The, the image that I have on the thumbnail is one that I actually made myself. So that is not an actual cover that's coming out. That is fake cover art, as you would call it. But I have to assume that if they're doing the 4K transfer in Germany, somewhere along the line, hopefully within the next couple of months after that, maybe in the early 2022, maybe around February, March, that we're going to be getting a drive 4K here and hopefully an awesome, spectacular uh, steelbook with that one as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. I love Drive. I think it's one of the best movies um, of the past decade. Definitely one of the best Ryan Gosling performances. So I'm really excited for that one potentially coming to the US. But if you can't wait, it is getting a German exclusive. Um, and as you know, all 4Ks are region free. So you can get the German 4K and you can play it on your 4K player. No problem. So getting into the next one, guys, we got Ghost Riders, which is coming out from MVD Rewind on February the 8th of 2022. So we're starting to get some 2022 uh, announcements for some boutique labels. So that's really cool. I've never heard of Ghost Riders, but definitely looks like a cool flick that maybe I want might want to check out. We also got Dead Pit coming from Kino Lorber on December the 14th, 21. This looks like an awesome cover, and I've, I've never heard um, of Dead Pit before. So I've heard of the YouTube channel Dead Pit, but not... Uh, the the movie Dead Pit. So if you've heard of this movie, definitely comment down below. Let me know if it's worth a pickup. We've also got Stillwater, which is the new Matt Damon movie, or I'm sorry, Matt Damon movie coming out on Blu-ray from Universal on October the 26th. We've also got Four Good Days, which is a new movie with Mila Kunis and Glenn Close. That is coming from Vertical Entertainment on November the 9th. We've got The Eyes of Tammy Faye, which came out a new Michael Showalter film that came out a couple of weeks ago starring Jessica Chastain and Andrew Garfield. This is coming out from Disney Searchlight on November the 16th. We also have the new November Warner Archive Slate that was announced nine titles in total i'm going to go over three right here three of the more notable ones we've got fury coming out on november the 9th party girl on november the 30th and lullaby of broadway coming out on november the 23rd and lastly guys we've got dragon world from 1994 some kind of fantasy movie from the early 90s coming from full moon features on february the 8th 2022 i need to check out some full moon features because they definitely have some really interesting and cool uh cover art for those so that is the announcements guys let's get into the next segment of the show and this is going to be a newer segment something i haven't done on here but i figured since we've been 
been having so many problems with physical media releases, uh, pre-orders not coming in, um, discs being messed up in certain releases and having to do replacement discs and all that stuff. That stuff seems to be popping up more and more lately. So I thought I would create a new segment that may not necessarily be on this show every single week, but I thought I would put it on this week. And this is called the Physical Media Woes. So we've got two stories to discuss here today. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is this Phantasm Blu-ray double pack that came out last week from Wellgo. So apparently they put the old Shout Factory transfer in this one, just the regular rated R version that was supposed to be the uncut and a new remastered version of that film. And they put the old um, Shout Factory Blu-ray in there. So I reviewed this last week and I'm going to open this up right here and show you all the discs that I have. Um, so right here, guys, these both say well go on them. Um, so I'm assuming that I have the discs from the previous well go set. I assumed that when I did the review. So, and the uh, part two had all the special features on it and everything. I don't know if I got the uncut or the rated R version because I don't know the difference between the two. This was a first time watch for me last week. So the first one was supposed to be a new 4K transfer and they're saying that some of them got the older transfer uh, for that as well. So I think that I had the correct disc because this is apparently only supposed to be a number of people, a small number of people that had this problem. Wellgo is offering a replacement disc program on their site right now. I can link that down below in the description for you guys. Let's move on to the next one, guys. And the next thing that I want to talk about is these damn Halloween 4Ks, which has been the pain of my existence uh, for the past two to three weeks. So. I'm gonna share with you all the latest update that I got from Shout Factory, an email last Friday. So I keep getting these emails, they always drop on Friday, and every time I see Shout Factory in my email, I'm like, all right, I finally got my announcement. You're seeing everybody posting on social media, I finally got my shipping notification, all the movies are coming, you're seeing everybody posting that they got their vinyls, their 4Ks, their posters, everybody's going crazy, they're getting part two and part three, they're getting four and five, they're getting them all out of order, but at least they're getting some of them. I'm not getting any of them. So you got people from Amazon getting their orders, people from Best Buy getting their orders. I ordered from Shout Factory and I still have not gotten anything, <laughs> nothing. No notifications, nothing other than these emails. So let's get into these emails. And I'm gonna put this over me talking so you can read along with me. But they say, as promised, here is our next update on your Halloween order. We have your order and nearly everything that goes with it and we are shipping as fast as possible. If you have ordered one of the top tier sets, you should either already have a UPS tracking number or you should get one by Monday. So by that, they're meaning that the ones that got the vinyls and the pens and all that good stuff, they're gonna be getting theirs by Monday. Cool, where's mine? Um, all of the vinyl we were waiting for is now in the US, but all the two cartons have clear customs. Our focus now is getting the multi-titled orders out the door ASAP. We will consolidate product in one carton and ship everything UPS, which will be far faster than USPS. Our Kentucky warehouse is working nights and weekends to fulfill orders. Next week, we will have a very clear picture of the final schedule of deliveries in the email to spell out the timeline. Again, we have plenty of product and we apologize for the delay. We are working tirelessly to get you your order. Regards, Shout Factory. So, there you have it, guys. They are working tirelessly to get us our orders. And, you know, I'm, I'm super appreciative of it. I, I appreciate all the hard work uh, that Shout Factory put into these releases. I do. Don't get me wrong, but to send all of the copies to Best Buy and everybody else before taking care of your customers that pre ordered from your website and spent $10 to $12 more in some cases for these releases is absolutely ridiculous. If I would have known this, I would have ordered from Amazon. I would have ordered from Best Buy, places that were cheaper. But no, I spent the full money to get them early and I didn't get them. Yes, I'm getting posters, but to be perfectly honest with all of you, I don't give a damn about those posters. I just wanted the movies early and that is the perk that you're supposed to get when you order from Shout Factory and I'm not getting it. So. As of right now, guys, I haven't canceled anything. I'm gonna let it ride. I'm gonna get them when they get here. It is what it is. I didn't even pick up any of them. I was tempted to pick up the first one at Best Buy last week, but I didn't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and wait because if I didn't get them early, then who cares? I'll get them when I get them. As long as I get them before Halloween, I'll be okay. Now, if it goes till Thanksgiving, Christmas, I'm gonna be a little upset. You're gonna see a different side of me, but I'm okay right now. So but if you have any thoughts on these Halloween 4Ks, if you're just as upset as me about it, or if you've already got them in and you've watched them and you love them, definitely comment down below your thoughts on that, guys. So getting into the deals, there are tons, 
Tons of great deals this week, guys. And we have the Kino Lorber sale going on right now. Like I said in the opening of the show, I did an entire stream last Wednesday night for about an hour and a half where I talked about all these deals. I filled up my cart. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. So if you're in that stream, definitely appreciate you hanging out if you watched it. Um, so it was a good time. But yeah, Kino Lorber has got an amazing sale right now. And they usually do two or three of these a year. The last one they did was June for the June Swoon. And now they're doing the Rocktober sale. So everything on their site is 50 to 70% off. And they've got a lot of their 4Ks in there as well. Not Silence of the Lambs and Misery because has, those haven't come out yet. But yeah, they had the 4Ks on there for like 15 bucks. Um, I think Hannibal was on there for like 12 bucks. So definitely some great deals. Go check out that Kino Lorber sale right now for sure. Because when Kino Lorber does a sale, their stuff is like eight or nine dollars. So it's it's definitely a lot cheaper. You can get a lot of cool stuff for under a hundred dollars. Um, during those sales versus Criterion where they're all 20 and you got to pay you still got to pay like a hundred dollars to get four or five titles So let's move on to the next one and that is the blue underground sale everything on there is about 40% off It's not the best sale. It's definitely not as good as the MVD one that they had earlier on in the year I think it was like 50 to 60 for that one But it, it, it's still better than what they usually are So if you don't have those titles and you're looking to get them for a little bit cheaper definitely um, Check out that blue underground sale. So Ronin flicks is also having a sale 35% off their stuff Target is having a buy to get one free sale on right now and of course, Amazon had to go and price match it right before I came on here to film. They promoted that they're doing a buy to get one free uh, uh, deal right now on their site. So definitely tons of deals going on right now, guys. If you're a physical media collector, it is now time to drop some money. Hopefully, you've saved some money for these sales. So we also got Justice League on 4K, guys, for $19.99. We've got Black Widow on 4K for $23.99. Again, these are new 4Ks. It just came out last month. That's what I'm saying, guys. If you don't need to pick these up right away, then I would wait, wait a month. A lot of times these drop eight, nine, uh, ten dollars in some cases. So definitely wait on some of these titles. Batman four movie set for forty nine ninety nine. So the Burton Batman's, and then you got Forever and Batman and Robin are only fifty bucks right now, which is a great deal. My only reservation with this set because I would order it, but I already have returns. I bought returns as a standalone. I might need it to drop to like forty bucks. Uh, for me to pick that one up. But we also got Underworld, guys, pre-ordered for 60 bucks right now, guys. That Evil Dead set that we talked about last week, that awesome Evil Dead set, is $70 right now. I had no idea it was that low. I might get on there and pre-order that and the Underworld set um, after we get off here on Amazon, not Best Buy, not pre-ordering from Best Buy anymore. If you want 30 Monster Collection films, you can get them right now, guys, for $111. So they definitely have better deals for that set, but that's still a pretty good deal. The Texas Chainsaw Steelbook right now, guys, is $10.99. So a really good deal from that, especially considering I just picked it up for like 15 bucks. We've also got the Leprechaun Collection for $9.96. Great deal for seven Leprechaun films. We got the Thing 4K guys for $20.84. Um, not the best deal because I only paid like $21.99 for that. So it's down a dollar, but still a good deal for that. Ford v Ferrari on 4K for $12.99. A Quiet Place 2 on 4K for $18.99. Watchmen series, that whole TV series is only $10.99 on Blu-ray. So that's a great deal for that one as well. So yeah, tons of fantastic deals guys going on this week in the world of physical media. So with that, guys, let's get into what is new this week because we got a lot of stuff to cover. There's a lot of amazing stuff coming out this week, guys, that I hope we get to catch a glimpse of when we're in stores tomorrow. But the big one, guys, the first thing that we're going to talk about is the Inglorious Bastards 4K set from Universal. This is coming out tomorrow, guys, on 4K for $22.99 and a Steelbook for $25.99. And there's a Zavi exclusive for $123.99 with a bunch of stuff in it. But apparently it is sold out right now on the Zavi site, so you can't get that. So, Inglorious Bastards right now, guys, is not getting very good reviews. I know Jeff from Films at Home actually reviewed it a week ago. He said it was one of the worst 4K transfers he's ever seen. It was another Terminator 2 situation. So, I don't know, based on those reviews, and also based on the fact that, like, Inglorious Bastards probably wouldn't have even been, like, my fourth or fifth pick for Tarantino movies to come out in 4K. I would have loved to have seen the Kill Bill films, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, some of those older films I would have really liked to have seen. You know, Django even. Hell, I would have liked to have seen Death Proof in 4K. So Inglorious Bastards was not at the top of my 4K list uh, for Quentin Tarantino films. So I'm probably going to end up waiting on this one and maybe waiting till the price drops um, to like maybe $15 or something before I pull the trigger on that one. But um, definitely a nice slip cover on it though. So hopefully I don't have to wait too long for it to drop so I can still get that slip with it. But we've also got Free Guy coming out this week, guys. Free Guy is the new 
big exclusive movie with tons of in-store exclusives. Uh, we got some uh, Best Buy exclusives. We got some Target exclusives with this one. So the Blu-ray is $24.99. The 4K is $29.99. The Target Edition 4K, which is the one that I'm thinking about getting because that's an awesome design on that cover. That is $34.99. And the Best Buy 4K Steelbook, which is also a pretty cool cover as well, is $34.99. So yeah, that's the big new Disney uh, Fox release this week. So definitely look forward to that one. We've also got the Green Knight coming out, which I'm excited for. I had a chance to go see that one in theaters. That is coming out from Lionsgate on Blu-ray for $21.99. Of course, this is also an A24 film, so I'm going to pick it up either way. We've also got the 4K, guys, for $29.99. It's been a while since I've seen a 4K release uh, by A24, but this one got the 4K treatment, and that is $29.99 for that release. We've also got Carlito's Way coming out to 4K, guys, from Universal. The 4K, that one is only $19.99. The Steelbook is $26.99, and it is also getting a Zobby exclusive that's still in stock for $54.99. Definitely a nice-looking exclusive for that one as well. So this one, I might actually take my Inglorious Bastards money that I was planning on spending and put it on this one, and I might actually end up getting Carlito's Way on 4K instead. So um, we've also got that Columbia Classics Volume 2 4K box set, guys. This is a beautiful box set that I pre-ordered months ago. Apparently, this should be at my house tomorrow, according to Amazon, by 11 p.m. So hopefully, I'll have that in. I'll be able to do an unboxing for that one on the channel sometime this week, but that's coming out for $119.99. So definitely a decent price for that because I think it was like $160 uh, back when it was first announced. And it is six 4K movies, guys. You got to think about that. Six 4K movies in this set. And this is a beautiful, beautiful set. If it's anything like the first one, like you will not be disappointed in this packaging at all. They all get their own individual slip covers. So I think $120 for this set is more than fair for that price, especially considering that most 4Ks come out for around the uh, $22 to $25 price range. So for this, for having $20 for each 4K, I don't think it's a bad deal at all. So we've also got Misery on 4K, guys, from Kino Lorber for $27.99. I'm probably not gonna end up getting this one unless I see it in stores tomorrow and just really like it. I'm happy with my Screen Factory edition right now, and I canceled this pre-order, so I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow. We've also got High Sierra from Criterion for $27.99, and we've got Dead friend coming out from Screen Factory for $29.24. So speaking of the Halloween 4Ks, this one I actually pre-ordered as well with them and I've yet to get any shipping notification for this one as well. So the problem is not exclusive to Halloween 4Ks. We're having problems with other Screen Factory titles as well apparently because I should have already got this one with an exclusive poster as well. And we also got Cold Check, The Night Stalker, a two season collection from 1974 to 1975 coming from Kino Lorber for $79.99. We've got the Friday the 13th eight movie collection steelbook, which is a really nice looking steelbook coming from Paramount for $59.99. Again, I had that box set that back there, so I have no need for any more Friday the 13th films in my collection unless they upgrade them uh, to 4K. And we also got the Snake and the Silver Hair Witch from Arrow Video for $27.99. We've got the Haunting of Bly Mariner coming out from Paramount on Blu-ray for $29.95 and a double pack with Hill House for $39.89 as well. We've also got The Flash Season 7 on Blu-ray from Warner Brothers for $31.49. And we've got two more new Kino Lorber releases. In addition to the Night Stalker TV series, we've got The Last Sunset for $17.99 and Vera Cruz for $19.99 as well. We've also got two new Warner Archive releases coming out this week, guys. The Ghost Ship Bedlam for $24.99 and Black Lightning Season 4 for $29.99. We've also got 99.9 .9 coming out from Cult Epics. Uh, for $34.99. We've got three new Lionsgate catalog releases coming out this week, all from 2009 and all $12.99, including Youth in Revolt, The Road, and A Single Man. Also interesting that they're all coming out from 2009. I'm not sure what the significance of that is because that is like a 12 year anniversary, so it's an odd number anyway. We've also got a new Bruce Willis film coming out this week. Guys, I swear this guy comes out with a new release every single week. That guy's like the hardest working man in show business today. We've got Surviving the Game with Bruce Willis and Chad Michael Murray coming out from Lionsgate for $15.99. We've also got Hound of the Bakersville, um, the Baskersvilles, am I saying that correctly? Coming out from Code Red for $19.99. So with that, guys, that is everything new that is coming out this week. That is all of the announcements, the rumors, the physical media woes, the deals. We covered it all here on the Physical Media Report. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me here today. Please be sure to like this video, guys. Do not exit this video before liking the video. Also, be sure to comment down below
below. We discussed a lot of stuff today. If you got any thoughts on any of it, leave it in that comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and head on over to all of my socials, my letterbox, my Instagram, my Twitter, and follow me over there for more great content. Those links are in the description and we'll see you next time.